All right, this is how to set up the iRig Pre-HD, a very simple device. It's basically like a little mini mixer in your hand that you can take on the go, literally put it in your pocket. It's a sick device. Here's how you set it up. First things first, first step. You need, it's not a chargeable device. It's not USB charging. You need to put in two AA batteries. It comes with two. I will go ahead and put in um, professional caliber batteries into mine. You put in the two batteries, now it's powered up. Got it. Step two, the next thing you're gonna do is figure out whether your microphone or your input or whatever it is that you're plugging into your iRig Pre is phantom power or not. Does it need phantom power? You're gonna need to Google it. So Google whatever your microphone or whatever your input, your instrument is that you're plugging into the iRig Pre. Does it need phantom power or not? If it does need phantom power, what you're gonna do on the iRig Pre is there's a phantom power on or off. It says 48V on the side of the device right there. Turn it on if you need phantom power and turn it off if you do not need phantom power. Got it? Cool. Once you have figured that out, then what you're going to do is you're gonna plug in your audio device, whatever it is. So I'm gonna plug in my microphone using an XLR cable. This device only takes XLR. Three pins cable right there in the three pin jack. You're gonna plug it in till it clicks and it goes all the way in. Push it in real hard, it's in there really solid. Got it? Now your input should be in the in jack on the iRig Pre. Check. I very, very highly recommend monitoring your audio <laughs> with this device because on the side of the device, there is a gain knob right there. It says gain and there's a little number and you can turn that number up and down all the way up to 10 or higher. It's really powerful. And if you're not listening in terms of audio, if you're not listening to the audio in your device, then you could be over-modulating, getting too hot and having distorted audio. So how do you listen? There's a headphone jack right here on we're next to the USB jack, the little headphone jack. Plug in your headphones, little earbuds or headphones or whatever into the headphone jack right there and be sure to monitor your audio while you're testing everything out. Now, you want to enable on the device, there's a, it says direct monitor right here on the iRig Pre. You wanna turn direct monitor on. Then there's a volume knob next to direct monitor and you're gonna turn the volume on direct monitor up until you can hear yourself talking and it's clear in your headphones. You wanna turn it up as loud as it requires for you to sound consistently loud like I sound right now. But if it starts sounding distor distorted or it starts sounding too hot, the audio starts sounding too hot, turn it down a bit. You do not wanna have distorted audio with this device because it really juices up the gain significantly. Great. Once you've done all of that and you have your audio input and you have your monitoring set up, then you're going to need to select your connection cable to connect to whatever device that you're going to connect to. The device comes with tons of cables, as you can see in my hand here. I'm not gonna go over all of them, but choose the appropriate cable based on what you're plugging into. It's got Thunderbolt, it's got USB-C, it's got USB-A. You choose the cable that you need to plug into the device that you need to plug into. Got it? So in this example, I'll just pull out the Apple cable here just as an example. And you're gonna plug in to the USB side of your device. It's right over here by the headphone jack on the iRig Pre. You're gonna plug in one side of the cable there. Then you're gonna plug in the other side of the cable on your device, whether it's your computer, your tablet, or whatever, into that device. Dink. It may not automatically recognize when you plug it in. It may. So the troubleshooting method I've used, especially with Twitter spaces in particular, this works well, and in Zoom this works well. If your device does not automatically recognize your iRig Pre as a headset, so by what I mean by headset is it'll do input and output from the iRig Pre, then you need to close the app and reopen the app with the iRig Pre plugged in. If that did not work, restart your phone and then try it again or restart your computer and try it again and restart your iPad and try it again, okay? So sometimes you need to have the iRig Pre plugged into your device when it starts up and sometimes you don't need that and you need to plug it in after an app is already open. I'll repeat that one more time. Sometimes you have to plug in the iRig Pre into your device after the app is already open 
and plug and unplug it, and then it'll recognize the device. Got it? And once you do that, you should be able to hear audio from your phone through the headphones on the iRig Pre, and folks on the other side should be able to hear your audio through the iRig Pre uh, in the call or in the Twitter spaces or in the live stream that you're doing. Now you have a tiny mini mixer in your hands, enabling you to use a professional quality microphone in calls where you're gonna sound way better than everyone else. Look, everybody's quality standards now are through the roof in terms of audio, and now you can take a professional caliber mixer on the go in your hands with the iRig Pre. So that's how you set up this device. Best of luck to all of you using the device. It's incredibly simple. Go through all of those steps, plug and unplug, restart device, and it should work for you. I had a little trouble with it recognizing sometimes, but the plug and unplug and restart solved those issues for me. And I'm glad I could test it so I could flag that for you. Best of luck.